most regular people are very frustrated and confused by like someone like that who's working for the White House. Like, how? How did that person get in there? Did that person get in there just because they dressed like that? Because I think they did. Yeah. I think they did. Right. I, I think you can, I think that's how goofy they are. Did you see the White House press secretary lady the other day? She was touting all the different, uh, like, minorities and all the different people of, you know, uh, uh, all the different women, how many women work for the White House now, a record number of people in the LBGTQ community work in the White House. Like, so, like all these things that, like, okay, how are they doing? Yeah. How's this working? Right. This doesn't seem like it's working that well. Like, what? we don't care. Like, that's not what most people care about. And if you're lesbian and you're great at your job, awesome. If you're gay and you're great at your job, awesome. But that shouldn't be all we're hearing about. All right, so I got to cut in here and break this up before I get claimed on a copyright strike by Rogan. If you can't tell already, tonight's subject matter is going to be a little different. I am fired up, and you should be too. We're going to elaborate a little bit on what's going on right now with Jay Powell coming out today, what he said, the Fed and inflation, how we could be at 10% interest in no time uh, if something isn't done soon. We're going to talk about dilution with Jamie Raskin and Mark Massey, the congressman from Kentucky, how it works, how printing money is bad. <laughs> Can't believe we got to do this, but we got to go down this road. Unfortunately, the people who are supposed to be overseeing these things are incompetent. Somehow, equity is beating out equality nine times out of ten with this administration. So, your trigger warning is there. Hang on to your bootstraps because we are about to go for a ride. But, before we do any of that and get in way too much trouble, cue the speeder. <laughs> And if, if there's like a real problem with people of one group or another group not getting the opportunities, then we should address that because that's the real problem. Everybody's at each other's throats for the wrong things. When the real things are you have these massive communities of disenfranchised people like Youngstown, mm -hmm. like where you grew up, like Detroit like Baltimore there's places like that all over the country and we just sent how many billions of dollars to Ukraine what did we always have that money laying around it's crazy okay but I, whether or not you agree that we should support Ukraine or not I don't understand it. it scares the shit out of me but if you had all that money laying around you know how many things you could have fixed like the real problem is people not getting the same uh, like situation to grow up in not getting a situation that's not filled with violence and drugs and gangs and chaos and shit. But then no one's trying to fix that. Like that's Good morning, beautiful people. Guys, what's going on? By the time you see this, it will be Wednesday, March 8th, 2023. And as I said in the outset, we're going to go in a kind of a different direction tonight. I want to talk specifically about the inflation and dilution and these secret trips that keep coming up from this administration. You know, 10 days ago, Biden was in Ukraine giving them $10 billion. Now, five days ago, Janet Yellen's over there giving him another billion dollars. I just, I, you know, Rogan made a great point, but has this money just been sitting around? Because there's a lot of places we could have inserted that money here at home for our citizens to help them uh, with their trials and tribulations. I, I'm having a hard time coming to grasp with how on one hand they're sitting here bitching about raising the rates and the inflation while on the other hand printing money and giving it away to corrupt countries and i'm going to flash this quote up again probably for the fifth time since i started this youtube channel on what george washington said back in the late 1700s and it's still true today the last act of any administration is to rob the treasury and if you don't think we're getting robbed right now you are a sucker now of course in rogan's clip he was talking specifically about the money that is continuously heading over to Ukraine. But I wanna to talk tonight about something that's a little more localized. 
maybe crime that's happening right here in our own country and isn't even involving the administration so much as it involves Congress. Now, the handsome son of a bitch just popped up on your screen is Congressman Jamie Raskin. He is a Democrat out of Maryland from the 8th District, and he was just nominated back in December of 2022 to be the ranking member of the House Oversight Committee for the 118th Congress. Now, the following clip we're going to watch is between Jamie Raskin and another representative from the great state of Kentucky, Thomas Massey. I want you to watch this and listen to this clip and tell me which one of these gentlemen would you say had a better understanding of monetary and fiscal policy. And when we're done watching Thomas Massey take Jamie Raskin to school, we'll come back. We'll talk about the Essex complaint against his wife. What went on with that? The $1.5 million payout for the Reserve Trust in this stock and how it seems like time after time people are rewarded for breaking the law but hopefully this next clip really highlights the lack of information and knowledge that some of our most influential and important people in congress lack watch this is what happens when you have a quantity of something and then you add more to it this is dilution the, the principle is so simple that a child can understand. And you can create this little science project at home. Sorry, you can have your tea back. Okay. But the principle is called dilution. And when you print $5 trillion and you put it into the economy, you have diluted the value of the money. You know, something interesting has happened with our debt here recently that hasn't happened in, in, in history, really. Uh, we got to about $26 trillion by borrowing money. And then most recently when COVID hit and the first $2 trillion package came to the floor, uh, there weren't $2 trillion to borrow. It didn't exist uh, in circulation. So what, what happened? How did we finance that debt? How do we finance that $2 trillion and the next $2 trillion and the next trillion? In fact, we financed $5 trillion of this debt by printing money. The Federal Reserve printed the money, and then the Treasury borrowed it from the Federal Reserve. So we kind of borrowed it from ourselves, but what came into existence was $5 trillion that did not exist money in circulation. But what we did over the last three years is increase five, by $5 trillion the amount of money that's in circulation before the banks loaned it out fractionally. Mr. Raskin, do you think that uh, creating new money and putting it into the economy had any effect on inflation? Just one quick reminder before he answers who this guy eats dinner with and sleeps next to on a daily basis. But I assume it does, but I've not looked at the studies about that. I mean, you're talking about the QE2 lending program that the Fed set up with Treasury? This is since uh, QE2. Yeah. This was specifically for COVID, we, uh, the Federal Reserve created $5 trillion. If you look at their graph, it's kind of flat for, uh, since 1917, yeah. their balance sheet. Then it went up $5 trillion right there at the, uh, and so what that means is $5 trillion came from somewhere. What, what happened is they printed the money and then loaned it to Treasury. Then Treasury, well, we spent the money. I don't want to blame Treasury. Congress appropriated this money and it went out the door and then that went into people's hands and they started buying stuff. Right. No, I mean, that's a serious question. And um, certainly there are, there are fiscal stimulus sources of inflation and there are, um, you know, and there are Fed uh, sources of inflation as well. But they're not executive order sources of inflation. I mean, no economists have ever identified that. So. But, but that's a serious question, and of course, Chip, uh, th that I goes. Have your tea? I mean, th that goes way beyond the the purview of this legislation. So the, this is Chip Roy's tea. He doesn't need it anymore. I've decided. <laughs> this is what happens when you have a quantity of something, and then you add more to it. Th this is dilution. The the principle is so simple that a child can understand. And you can create this little science project at home. Sorry, you can have your tea back. Okay. <laughs> but so uh, 
The $5 trillion that we printed, I would uh, argue, is the primary source of inflation. You know, we can, we can say, well, eggs went up because feed went up, fuel went up because uh, there's a war in Ukraine. You can, you can find a lot of excuses for various different industries. But what is the probability that every price went up all at the same time? You can't blame them on specific supply chain problems. The, the thing how, do you, that, how do you explain the global? Industry? Yes, I'm glad you asked me that, <laughs> Professor Raskin. Because they did the same thing in Europe. They, they did this everywhere. They printed their own equivalents of the Federal Reserve and Treasuries, created their own money out of thin air. Mm -hmm. It may be the only thing that saved our dollar is that everybody else did the same thing to their currency. Is they, uh, it's, and so the, you know, the question is, right now we're coming up on the debt limit. Why, why isn't anybody proposing to print more money? Why aren't the economists proposing to print more money? Because it is poison. When you print money, it is poison to our economy. Now, amazingly, that clip goes on a lot longer, but we got to cut it there because we're already running over 10 and a half minutes right now on this video. Reason I'm bringing this to your attention tonight is because of what Jay Powell just came out and said about raising the interest rates and the unemployment numbers and the economy is too hot right now and they want to shut it off. The reason we're in this mess right now is from printing money. And unfortunately, some of the people in the highest positions are ignoring that fact and continuing to want to raise the debt ceiling, which just is absolutely mind boggling to me. And it is crushing the middle class. All right, so I wanted to get into Raskin, what his wife did with the stock options, the 1.5 million, why he got nominated to the position that he did and why they were having her pegged to be the new top cop for the Fed. We're going to have to save that for another video. Actually, possibly we will hold it for tomorrow night. I am 100% going to go live tomorrow night. I'm also going to hop on and answer a lot of your comments from the last couple of videos, guys. So don't worry about that. But I'm going to let you go now. It's getting very late. As always, thank you so much for all of the views, the likes, the comments. My new subscribers and my OGs. I appreciate each and every one of you. We are here to break the wheel. This is Ape Nation, I'm the Massalorian, and I'm out.